Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're with the hooligans today. I thought we'd try something a little different. This is the Four Skull Battle Mission. We're facing a group of mercenaries that have been sent to take us out. Now I'm assuming from the drop zone on the map that there's only one lance. But it's going to be a heavy lance, uh, as it is Four Skulls. Now technically it's um, the locals that hired this lance, so it might not be super difficult, or it might be, I don't know yet. But I've chosen to drop on the hill up here. Give us a little bit of height advantage. Now the mortars, um, let's, we're going to move. We just need you for indirect, so let's just sit up here. Confirmed. And then LRMs, uh, we're going to sit up here. Can we just pick up a blip? I don't see it there anywhere. And then you are going to come down with us because I got a feeling we're going to need you real bad. So I didn't bring the fire started today. I thought I'd leave that one behind. It's basically got a standard loadout. I wasn't sure. I knew it was a battle in the desert, but I figured it was going to be like longer range. And it is. At least they're targeting the Thunderbolt. Okay, what do we got over here? That looks like an Omni mech to me, but I could be wrong. No. That looks like a Zeus to me. Okay. Well, I knew it's four skull and it's a good and it's a tough land, so I'm expecting good Order? a good fight here. So let's get We're gonna be going down along this way, I think. So let's get a pot shot in as we move. Coordinates received. Phoenix is heavy enough to get a pot shot. Okay, we got a vehicle. AC2 carriers, so that's not that bad. 31 on this guy. 66 on this guy, though. Five AC2s, eh? And a, no real armor. We might be able to claim this guy early. Let's take a shot at him. Engaging. Nope. Apparently with a 2 out of 3 percent, 2 out of 3 chance to hit, we can't get it. Commander. Um... Melee mech is going to be in a bit of problems here today. A little far away, but we'll move up. Another vehicle. That's her LRM. Really? Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, at least it's a Zeus here. So that's out of range with everything, eh? Fair enough. Full speed it is. Confirmed. I want to get the two cyclones up a little relatively close to kind of try and deny them the hill. What do you need? I could have switched to LRMs on that, but I didn't bother. Um, tag barrage, the range on this is not... Yeah, 540. Not all that great. So let's get down here. Acknowledged. If we can get the fire starter and both cyclones up there, I think we can deny them the hill. Standing by. Actually, full speed it is. Roger that. So both these cyclones are lightly armed. They got full armor, but they've got very little weaponry, so. Ready for orders. You get up here as fast as you can. On my way. Double time. If we can get an early strike against one of their vehicles, like maybe the Hetzer with this thing, I think I'm going to do that. We'll take the early strike. And then we've got Ready for orders. you. Okay, so we're in range here. Nice. We can just like crest and fire if we want to, too. Uh, let's pull here. I'm not going to fire in the first turn with these guys because these guys still have spawn immunity or first turn immunity. So we'll wait, hold off. Receiving you. I have a feeling that we're going to use a lot of ammo. All right, I forgot you were a little slower. Get down here. Acknowledged. This one's a little slower than the other one. I really hope I can find some clan LRM soon so I can up the engine and... and uh, up the missile count. All right, we'll put you here as well. Now we have what do we have: incendiary, dead fire, and chaff. Follow the leader. Okay. I think we're going to be using the incendiaries mostly, probably against that Zeus. Once we engage, that is. I'm not going to bother shooting him until we engage with that guy. 
Or that could be a, um, what's it called? A th the thug? I think it's called. There's the thug. So those are ER larges. Ready for orders. Well, sprint sounds good, uh huh. No shooting, just running. Got it. I'm wondering, I've been wondering for a while now with this smoke coming off here because I don't have yeah. like an internal combustion or engine on this thing or anything. Uh, let's get up here. <clears throat> so, I think if it's just an old chassis, maybe it automatically does that? I don't know. <clears throat> Awaiting orders. Alright, spin it up here. Get you guys together. These cyclones look fragile, but I mean, they're 30 tons, so they're not that bad. They just look like you could blow on them and they would fall over, though. So he's got LRMs plus um, ATMs, looks like. Good to go. Okay, get down here, get on the AC2 carrier. Fifty-four this time, not bad. Engaging with there you go. Probably a side hit that one. Pretty good accuracy for that range. Yeah, a side hit. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's good to go. If I want to shoot a mech in the front or the back, I target it from the side. And if I want to shoot a mech in the sides, I target it from the front. It just seems that, and I, it's probably just me, but it just seems that, like, Receiving. that's where the damage goes most of the time. Alright, now they got another guy back here, Atlas. Well, that's an interesting introduction. Thug, this is a thug. So let's go ahead, we got, we have, we got Flare, we do have Inferno. They don't have a lot of it though. Gonna hold off. We're gonna drop a bit of Inferno on this guy. Because he's at kind of at the range for heat right now. And I think what I want to do. What do you need? Because we want to keep him engaged and firing. Wow, that's really slow. Wait. That's out of range. Um What if are we in range with these? No, we're not. Okay, that's fine. Go as far as we can. Copy that. Um, what I might do, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to move the hunter out. So hopefully that guy keeps firing while these guys are moving up. The atlas is going to be the tricky part, though. I don't think we're going to be able to engage that to thug go. while that atlas is still kicking around. Although this guy probably should unload on the atlas. Just strip a bunch of armor. Now the atlas, I think, is going down here. We're going to move up here. Hauling ass. Wherever we go with this galley, and we gotta make sure that whatever we're shooting at is the only thing that can shoot back. What's up, boss? You know what's up? That's what's up right there. Moving to position. We got a bit of evasion, we got two, not bad. Could have been worse. Alright, firing on this guy. Firing all that's a good number of hits. We pushed him over. There's a rare chance he'll shut himself down. He's gonna fire. Yeah. We'll take the damage for the heat. Uh oh, that's a good trade-off for us. He's got ER larges, and this this hunter is okay for armor. Like, yeah, it's barely even registering on the front. So we got like another three hits on the front from that laser yeah. before it actually really does anything. All right, now. Um, Ooh, we got a chance of the carrier, so we'll go ahead and do that. Roger. Let's go after this guy. Uh, I'm going to go stay with Cluster. And... Um, let's hold off in the barrage. I want to put that in the thug, I think. So let's go this way. Okay, it looks like we pented the one side. No, we did not. Almost, though. Ooh, okay. The TBM-15s, so that's not good. 
Aye, aye. You're my spaniel. Um. Can we get a ping from here? Let's find out. Hauling ass. See if we can get a ping. Yeah. Yeah. But not that great. Alright, full sprint. Full sprint sounds good. Copy that. Receiving you. Alright, full sprint. And we're gonna put some chaff now that we're a little closer. We'll put some chaff on the uh the thug here. Hopefully hit him. Copy that. Nope. That didn't hit? Well, no. Orders. It did not. Alright, we'll see what our indirect chance is, because we may shoot that thug at, with the uh incendiaries. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should go after this guy. We have what do we have here? Yeah. Got 120 rounds of each, is 8 turns of firing with each, so let's see what we got on this guy, 4%. Let's hang on to it for a second. I want to try and get as much salvage out of this as I can, and if I waste the ammo early, um, we won't be able to get the Atlas. So let's go after you. Hopefully by the time we get there, that thug is shut down. Yep. You're just like in the bad spot here. I wonder if I should come down this way. Because it's going to take, what, one, two, at least three turns to engage this way. But if we come down here, right, it's like one and then maybe two turns so we can get some shots off. I don't like the idea of separating you from everybody else, but I think that's pro Well, then if the Atlas decides... The Atlas decides to come up here, then you're completely out of position. All right, full speed this way, I guess. Let's move. If it wasn't an Atlas back there, if it was like a 70-ton mech, then yeah, I'd go down here, but... I know we got a lot of guys up there. Oh, he's still up there. Yeah, okay. There's the LRM-20. We we'll follow the leader. Well, shit. That was quick. That was follow the leader missiles. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Orders. All right, are we having fun yet, any everybody? <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right. Good thing I brought the uh, the thunderbolt along that way. Get this guy shut down and killed. That's gonna be brutal. Good to go. Okay, is this a thug trade off? Okay, here's what we're doing. Let's hope this works. Vigilance. And here. Going full speed. We're in strike range for next turn. So the Atlas has got the LRM twenty where? AC twenty is usually right here. Well, I think the LRM twenty is right here, if I remember correctly on the Atlas. This is what the C? It's the seven C. Well, they are elite mercenaries, so, I mean... That's not going to be enough rockets to do what the damage I want to do, but... Oh, he's not shutting down yet. Damn it. Aye, aye. At least we're keeping him quiet, though. Um... Trees? All right. Full 
Ah, uh, man, I can't believe that. <sighs> oh, of course. I don't know why I'm surprised. These guys are elite, so, I mean... Let's face it, let's get some chaff on that atlas if we can. Man, this is gonna be tough. Okay, we got a couple on them. Standing by. You saw what happened to your brother. Get in the fucking trees, man. Copy that. I don't think it's gonna help you all that much, but just get in the trees. <laughs> let's fire some rounds. Do something. Okay, standing in fire again. Beautiful. As much as I want to run down there and engage this freaking guy. Minefield times 24. Do we just sit here and take it, or do we... Like, the AC2 carrier's damage on the other side. See, this guy's got 150 on the front. Not bad. Try a tandem. Keep the thug overheated, or I go after one of these guys. We're not going to secure the kill on one of these guys, though. Although it is a better chance to hit. What else do we have here? Dead fire? No. Chaff? I mean, we could. Either they all hit or they don't. Let's do it. Firing all weapons. Come on. Nope. That's a miss. Thank you. Ready for order. Thanks for filling me in on that. Nope. Yep. Understood. Moving fast. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Standing by. That atlas is in a freaking bad spot for me. Copy that. Okay, let's get on this guy. Not the best. I'm taking the shot. Wow, really? Really? Everything missed? You had to miss with everything? You just had to do that, did you? Oh, he's taking the upper road. Okay, at least it's closing the distance from my galleon. He knows the galleon's coming, that's what it is. Waiting for orders. Alright, well. <sighs> this opens him up to attack from everybody, but I don't expect him to survive this anyway, so but we gotta do this. On it. Wind it up, man. Say hello to my little friends. Firing all well, at least we got a head hit on him. I'm out of short range missiles. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Wow, four chevrons in evasion, you hit three, three eh? Heavy damage. Ready for orders. Um Let's give them other stuff to shoot for. And we're going to take a shot at this guy. And we're going to go with air burst. Because I think I can hit the opposite side with that. I think it'll hit all over the vehicle. Ooh, not quite enough. But we can probably get him next turn. Keep that heat cranked up, buddy. It's not shutting down, though. At least he'll take the barrage next turn. God damn it! I didn't move very much, though, so there's not much I can do about it. Not like I have anywhere to go. Aye, aye. Do I give the Atlas a shot at me?
a damage spread everywhere. Roger. Let's see if we can increase our um, instability on this guy. Go right to six. LRMs, tag, large laser, we fire everything. And here it comes. Okay. Standing by. Now, um, God damn it. Uh, there's nowhere here that I can go that the Atlas can't see me. He's in a really good position. I mean, do we try for the knockdown? This turn? I don't think we got the juice to do it. But. Still not range with the flamers either. We take the chance. We're still like so many turns away from everybody else being there though. Um, how many chevrons of evasion is this? Three. Understood. Moving fast. Firing. Oh, what's up, boss? Okay, uh, full sprint. Got to get in to be able to shoot straight on somebody. Maybe it is. Maybe we go after the Atlas. Let's hope one of these hits again. Yep. Receiving you. Roger that. Yeah, maybe this was a bad idea. My lance is only rated at two skulls, so... Yeah, fuck. Well... Knew it was coming. Orders? This was... I was hoping it wouldn't be that... Been, would not have been that soon. Not enough, eh? Reporting. There we go. Okay, good. We're there for a Ready second. For I thought that ah, that's not enough. That's not enough. How much do I need to give him? Okay, incendiaries again. Sure. Yes, Commander. Let's make sure this guy can't get out of the flames. Fire the incendiaries. Copy that. Not a lot, but at least he's standing in fire. Okay, he's got a Gauss rifle. Which, I don't know if it's better than... My armor's melting off. I don't know if that's better than, than the AC-20 or not. Okay. Waiting for orders. Get on this guy. I think we can successfully move the swordsman down here, hopefully, shortly. This guy's trying to shed heat. 
It's not going to be successful though. Um, nothing we can do up here, right? Let's move. I think we go after the thug. I think we can gang gang up on this thug now. Um, cluster or. Slug's still pretty... Well, it's 66. Let's go with the cluster. Roger. Keep pouring Waiting it on him. Orders. Move order received. Go with the incendiaries. Let's keep him over that, ca that red line there. He might be out of, um, I think he's out of, uh, what's it called? Standing by. What you call it ammo? You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying, right? He's out of that, he's out of that ammo. God, if I go here and shoot my own guy in the back, it's going to be so disastrous. <sighs> going to go here. Acknowledge. We're going to turn the rack off. Streak, ATMs, LRMs are 27. MRMs are 55, so let's switch it up. Hopefully get the tag on this guy. We'll fire the rest of the stuff and hopefully not hit our own guy. Confirm. Okay, blown through the armor. Tag's on. She got past the armor. I'm ready for orders. No it's just like riding a trike. Let's hammer this guy. Save the rockets for the Atlas. Good chances to hit. Gonna fire the chaff though. Got it. Well, NSS in the one damage. location is gone. Receiving you. All right, let's. Hmm. Let's go with standard on this guy. Hopefully we hit the torso. Beautiful. Target eliminated. Problem one solved. Ready for order. And now you're in a bad location, but that's okay. That's okay. Um He's down to one launcher. Let's go follow the leader, hopefully we hit. Come on. Yep. Okay, so he's heating up too. Although probably not now. Yeah. Mess him up. Mess him up good. That's just pretty fast. What we might do? Since he's engaged with the hunter, what we might do is we're going to reserve past the Atlas, let him do his thing, and then we're just going to jump him. Holding. He's going to inflict some damage on us, but uh, he's going to the trees. Yeah. He's using follow the leader. So he's facing directly on us. I'm here. Confirmed. I don't like the fact that we're, we're all kind of got a little bit of st stability problems on us, but I got to save the uh, for this for when we're in real tr like in real trouble here. Uh, switch back to LRMs. Fire everything! Aye, aye. Oh, we've blown through somewhere. Commander. Crap! Not enough room. What about this way, though? On my way. Fire everything! I 
Blowing through somewhere. Ooh, another head hit. Target's taken a critical hit. Receiving you. I'm kind of down for the rule changes on um, pilot's health. Yeah, so he had two Thunderbolt four packs and a mine dispenser. Plus an LRM 15. That's pretty versatile. Pretty versatile little heads here. Let's go use follow. Let's follow use follow the leader again. Firing Hopefully we hit. Looks like end. we will. Yep. Beautiful. That is something good. I'm out of LRN. This guy's out of range. Not for long. Aye, aye. All we need to do is move up with just a little bit. Um, I think, um, mm, do I go with, how much airburst do we have left? 16? Let's go with the airburst. Yeah, fuck you. One more for the okay, my two vehicles are out of the battle now. Good to go. But somehow this Atlas moves up. Affirmative. Swordsman can probably take a shot from the Gauss rifle and be okay for one turn. That's his torso. That galleon, man. Aye, aye. If we hadn't moved that galleon in, this probably would have been a different story. Let's move. Move and get our stability back. I know we're all lined up here, so if he misses one, he could hit somebody else. But we got to go after this guy, so that's what we're doing. Copy that. Okay. Engine crit, LRM crit. So he's got an XL. Scored a critical hit. Who else is left here? Receiving you. Do you want to be a, do you want to be a uh, hero? God damn it! I can't get in the trees and have a direct line of sight. Is there nowhere I can see this guy from? Okay, we're okay. gonna move here then. Confirmed. Stay in the trees. In cinderies. Hopefully, we hit that open area. A couple hits. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you revenged your brother. Oh, there you go, folks. Mission successful. So I don't know if it's coded that way or not, but incendiaries on open, um, like on uh, like internal structure, seem to do a hell of a lot more damage, like critical wise, than uh, anything else. So that's a good chunk of XP. We did. I don't know. Let's hope we didn't lose the pilot. Yuck. She's incapacitated and not killed. She's healing. Four wounds, 83 days. Oh my god, she's still alive. Alright, I can replace all this stuff. I mean, the advanced optics is going to be a little hard to replace, but everything else I can replace. The magpulse, maybe not. That was the, where the ammo was, too. They hit the ammo. Yeah, not much I can do. I only had regular pharaoh in here, not clan pharaoh, so... <sighs> what can you do, right? All right, well, we did survive though. Three part, five parts of an atlas. I can't, yeah, see. God damn it. I didn't go full salvage either. All right, let's just see what's down here, if anything. You know it's gonna be the three atlas parts, right? Yeah, not a lot, of, no, there's not a lot down here. But that was a good fight, I enjoyed that one. See if we get the whole atlas here. Nope, of course not. <laughs> Why would we? All right, armor gone. I don't think I need these, do I? No. Basic cockpit can go. Oh, we got a command console though. Was that in the thug or the atlas? Does the atlas have a command console? C3 slave. No, it's probably in the thug. Yeah. So that's not bad. Uh, that can go the 140 core. Let's hang on to it because I don't know what we lost in the cyclone offhand. We've got 24 of these, so those can go. Heavy jump jets. We'll hang on to those. AC2 flak we'll hang on to. A Goss we'll hang on to. An LRM double we can probably sell. So that actually, okay, not bad. Not bad in the roll, I guess. Okay, so the cyclone was technically intended to be 
a stock SLDF loadout because it was one of the ones I said that we found in a, in a, in a very tiny starting catch. So uh, let's have a look at the refit on this thing and what we got to do. I don't know if we have everything that we can do there. Yeah, the optics I can't replace, which really sucks. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So the core was what? A 180. Don't know if we have a 180. Wait, do we have ferro? We have ferro, so we can replace that. Um, do we have endo? We did, but we cannot replace that. So it's going to end up being a different loadout. Most likely a little slower. So the 180 core... We do have a 180. That's 9 tons. The endo steel gave us how much? A ton and a half. So if I can find something 7.5 tons... 8... 7.5. So that's as big as we can go right now without endo. And then if we can replace the rest... So we got jump jet... Is it just the one? Regular heat sink. Two heat sinks. On this side, I think. So let's get those. So two heat sinks. And then a jump jet, which should be just right here. Getting close. Medium pulse laser. I don't know if I have. We might. Uh, medium pulse, okay. What? Oh, it's in the torso. Is it? Yeah. Oh, the missiles are on the arms, the pulses are on the torso. Oh, I see. Um, okay, the heat sinks are done. Barrel endo. The tag, which was in the CT, I think. And I don't think I've got a tag. That's six tons. Let's just drop a couple of these in here for now, so at least we have something on there. I don't have an SRM-2. Interesting. And we don't have a tag. So, what we could do is pull out this SRM-2, upgrade them both to 4s. Yeah, we're overweight right now. I can work on that, though. Um, that's going to be heat problems, too. That's a half a ton over. Hmm. Take out the C3 unit, I guess, for now. Or I could pull a jump jet. I need, you know what? We're going to need heat sinks, too. I need ammo. So taking them all off is kind of a waste. That's one ton, right? Yeah. It almost feels like a waste having one of those in there. Um, now, ammo... With an SRM-8 loadout, you really need at least one ton of ammo because it's 100 shots per ton. So you're looking at, what, uh, 10, 96, so 12, 12 and a half turns of firing with one ton. So if we go ammo, I don't know what I got SRM-wise, though. Um, anything interesting? Artemis. We've got the AR-12 sheath beacon on this guy. Yeah, I even, even got right through the sheath beacon. Like, this thing's pretty good at... at um, like overall, if you don't have, so okay, it protects the carrier with an ECM shield of four, which is the same as a Guardian ECM. Doesn't protect anybody else around him though, really, right? It's got a probe on it and an active probe on it, so it's pretty good for protecting your own guy. It's only one ton, right? It doesn't um, take up, as you can see, it doesn't take up any weight, right? Because it just goes into the uh, sensors, so it's actually really good for. For stuff. Plus it gives you the uh, the ping too, right? Which is nice. So, you know what? Do we have um, got the SLDF standard cockpit? Let's look and see if we've got an Artemis. We do have an Artemis. That's an extra ton though. Like if we go... Oh, there's no free slots. Damn. We'd have to, use the, we'd have to lose the beacon. I want to keep this on for night vision, probably. Although the plus two... Wait, fire control system improved. One to gunnery and night vision, so let's take that one. Wait, clan improved. Oh, it's called shot. Okay, we'll put that one in, that's even better. So that helps a little bit. Pirate ECM. 
Yeah, I mean... I still need a lot of stuff for these guys. So, we need ammo and heat sinking. Like, we're already way over. 6, 12, and these are what, 15 each? 12 each? 24, 36. So we're not that bad. Oh, we need... Right. I didn't put enough heat sinks in because I forgot we dropped the engine. So that puts us at 30, so we're 6 over. Which isn't too, too bad, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, we could drop the core slightly for like a half a ton. Um, what's the 140? That's still the same. Yeah, now we're down to 4.6, I think, or 4.7. Which defeats the purpose of this guy, because he's not like, a, then he's no longer like a strike mech, right? This guy is supposed to be like a strike mech. So that's a 160. Is the 170 the same weight? It is. Slightly better. We're almost back to the 180, so that's not too bad. What's our movement now? 5.8. That's respectable. Let's me a little, let's me close a little bit. I mean, we could remove the medium pulses. I put them there for accuracy's sake, right? So, I mean... We could go with, like... I want to got two medium lasers. Diverse optics medium. That's the variable damage increase range. Or we could go with a large pulse as the primary weapon. That's two, four, six, eight tons. We have nine tons to spend here, so two would be the large pulse. That's 27 heat. And then what? SRM2 and some ammo? Or a couple rocket packs? Yeah, it's like... <sighs> this is 10 tons, right? No, it's seven. I mean, we could go with a single MRM 20. Max damage is 100. With these guys, we've got what? 30, 60, and 40, and 40, plus multiple chances to hit. So overall, it's better to hit this way because this is inaccurate. Streak 6 is too much weight. Oh, it's a clan, so it's only three tons. I mean, we could go with a Streak 6 instead of the two SRM-4s. Um, do we have any Streak ammo, though? That's the question. Do we have any Streak ammo? We do. So then we can put the Medium Pulse here. Pull this off. Pull this off. And then we could put the Streak ammo here. I wish I had half a ton. Well, half a ton's not going to help us, though. It's only eight turns of firing. Streak six. Still puts us over a little bit, but then we can go ahead and get another heat sink on the ammo side, probably. So, I mean, we're pretty heat flush. Three over. Plus, this isn't going to be firing all the time, so that's good. Bonus accuracy on this. I think we go this route for now. I'm okay with this. I don't think it's as versatile as the old version we had with the jump jets, the SRMs, with the uh, the uh, mag pulse ammo and advanced optics and all that. But I think it's okay for now until I can get some more gear and get this thing working. Yeah. That'll do. I don't think... Um, I mean, we could go with missile accuracy instead of the fire control system improved. What's the range on these? 360? 480. Oh shit, that's really good. And these are like, what, 300? Yeah. So we can fire this more often. Yeah, no, I think we leave it this way. Let's just go ahead and do this. Alright, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, I'll let you know when that's we got our pilot taking 83 days to get back, but uh, it is what it is. We can pull this down for now. We'll bring the fire starter up so we still have a full lance going. 
So I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can put all any, any comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to be posting off and on for the Battle of Astrakhazi um, until the um, Battle for Lhasa uh, Battle Report series is kind of into the swing of things because we're just kind of getting started right now. So I'll be posting intermittently for this. Um, but then we'll be we'll be getting back into it. I think we're going to go into... Uh, I think it's... Um, Astrakhazi 7, which is a radiated world. So I think we're going to be heading there for the next little bit. But uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.